Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Luis with Green Zebra Gardening here today. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, let's get into this. I'm gonna Today I'm going to show you um, a quick review of a new toy I just bought an Edger. So let me go ahead and show you the backyard that I've already done. And then we're going to go ahead and go out to the front yard and do that. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and show you. I don't have it before. I probably should have done it before. But I'll go ahead and show you what the front yard looks like in a minute. See on these, just the way it's set up. I don't have a lot of room along here. So it didn't make it a whole lot. E it didn't make it very easy. And I've got stuff growing all over the place. So this is the uh, soybeans. But anyways, Clint did it pretty good. I usually just take a weed whacker, as you can probably hear from the neighbors. Mondays usually are not the day for the gardeners to come in the area. It's usually on Thursdays when I'm not here. Um, but we may have a little noise, so in the front yard I'm just going to go ahead and show you the actual process of what I'm doing. But then we'll probably come back here and do a little talk. But actually, the backyard lawn is actually not looking that bad. This only has a ton of dirt because my son, my older one especially, likes to dig holes. So we had a nice big hole. I bought some of the cheap uh, topsoil from Home Depot for like two or three bucks. Back filled in with a whole bag. And so now, I'm wondering, I don't want to get grassy just yet. I'm thinking I might throw some um, buckwheat seed down here. Okay. So as you can see, I've already used it, so it's a little bit up. I did get an extra blade. I don't know what I'm going to use or when I'm going to need it, but I figure I'd uh, get one. So this is going to be the guide to help you stick along the edges. It does a pretty good job. It comes unassembled, which basically just means this is one piece, this is another piece, and then this down here is actually a third piece. So. Um, for now, let's go get it set up, I'll get the cable out, and we'll go work in the front yard.
Alright, it looks like I'm also going to go ahead and show you how to take out the how to take off the blade in case you hit one of your sprinkler heads and the coil just wraps around it so yeah that happened so this is my first real time using it and like I said I used it on the backyard back here but sprinkler heads I think are almost non-existent back here I only have like maybe four in the front yard especially um, when I was doing along the sidewalk on my side on my actual yard they're a little closer so now I gotta have that fixed I think I'm in I think I might know somebody and I don't think the fix for the um, the actual sprinkler itself is going to be that that much. The sprinkler heads I think are only 5 and 10 bucks, maybe cheaper. But anyways, let me go ahead and find the uh, instructions on this, see what size we need and how we take this thing off. Alright. I didn't have to take the blade off. Luckily, it just spun around. So I was able to carefully get it out. So now she's good as new. Um, but um, let me flip this around and uh, I'll give you my review. Okay, so overall, I think it's a decent machine for about 80 bucks. It's not a bad price. It is a very introduction very basic introduction to a, an edger um, you could go with the stick edger and you know go through that route um, but I think uh, once I get this these edges done the first time since they were so overgrown especially on the sidewalk along the street along the gutter um, once I get them basically set then they're good as long as I keep them clean and as long as I do it regularly, maybe uh, once a week, once every other week, um, then it should be good. It's just that first time because it um, was so overgrown, I think that was the issue. And I had watched a lot of reviews and a lot of videos on YouTube about it. Um, I will go ahead and link the direct product I got. I got it from Home Depot. I believe Amazon has it too, uh, if you want to order it there. Um, for now, I think I'll keep it. I like it. Um, at least, like I said, like now I know that I should need to keep it clean. And then that way, um, it shouldn't be as difficult every time after that. But I will go ahead and insert the links below. Um, overall, it's a good machine. I would recommend it. But like, um, you will need to get some practice on it. You need to figure out exactly where your sidewalk is. Um, rec another recommendation would be to maybe grab a weed whacker um, and go through and just kind of weed whack a little bit. And that way you can actually see it if need be. And maybe if the grass is too tall, kind of edge it or kind of uh, just weed whack it back a little. But anyways, before I ramble on anymore, go ahead and hit that like uh, that uh, thumbs up button hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button if you want to go ahead and see more reviews go ahead and leave them in the link below in the comments below um, I can go ahead and show you my other equipment it's not really fancy it's just the cheap stuff that I can find at Target or Amazon or uh, Home Depot or actually my mower came from Kmart um, for like 120 bucks it's an electric mower it's a mulcher does a basic gist and it, that's how I keep everything mode but anyways if you want to go and see that let me know in the comments below um, I think that's it catch you guys on the next one peace